Hi Andy here, this is my review for the Pneumatic PPR170 HEPA vacuum cleaner and it took me a while and after use it for 5 months. I would say this is one of the greatest latest by Pneumatics for many years. This model have a little bit of redesign or subtle differences compared to all Pneumatics models. This PPR170 HEPA is probably most interesting for those who own older Henry or Pneumatic vacuum cleaner or those who haven't owned Henry or Pneumatic vacuum cleaner before that are interested trying out. If you are thinking about getting one, you may have a series of questions but more important question to ask is your existing vacuum cleaner. How's the size? Is it too big or too small? How does it sound like? Is it too noisy? How's the suction power? Or are you still sneezing every time you vacuum? Or does it feel like a chore every time you feel like vacuuming? You need to bring out the big vacuum? Or do you have spare parts of the vacuum cleaner? Or is it available for repair if you need to? Unless one of those questions tells you you need a new vacuum, you do not need to think twice about this PPR 170 HEPA. And if you do need a new vacuum, I'm going to tell you what's new. A quick disclaimer, I do sell this vacuum but you don't have to buy this vacuum from us. You can use this video as a reference as part of your due diligence of getting a new vacuum cleaner. But if you go through this video and find the vacuum tick most of the boxes that you need, I'll put the link down. The design and get a minor update is more squarish and of course with the HEPA print on the vacuum head. Looks nice if you end up getting a new vacuum cleaner. If you are familiar with Pneumatic or Henry, Henry is 6 liter and James is 8 liter. And then you have the Highline of Henry which is 9 liter. Same goes for the PSP240 or PPR240. They are all 9 liter. 6 liter, 8 liter, 9 liter. What happened to the 7 liter? Now here it is, the PPR 170 HEPA is the 7.2 liter capacity to be exact and 8.1 kilo in weight. It is one size bigger than the Henry and it's one size smaller than the PSP 240 or the PPR 240. It's kind of like the sweet spot in between. And it is noticeable bigger than the Henry and it is way noticeable smaller than the PSP 240 or the PPR 240. It also comes standard with the new 12.5 very visible yellow cable. I think it's one of their first vacuum that adopt this. I think more will adopt this in later stage. And of course, the table rewind function that I love. And the certified HEPA 13 filtration cartridge, which is replaceable. Manufacturing claim this is the most advanced filtration system they have in their commercial vacuum cleaner lineup. Apart from the pneumatic clean room series, at the time we are filming this, pneumatic make this HEPA filter exclusively for the PPR 170 in their commercial lineup. The vacuum comes standard with the S0 kit, which is a high spec of stainless steel kit, not aluminum or the fake stainless steel tubes. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f Now, instead of the signature red Smiley drum, it comes standard with the new Reflow black drum. Looks more stealthy. It's a green product if you're into that kind of green, renewable, sustainable. Thing. Now, due to the smaller footprint, which is easy to store, but it still has the onboard tool storage and the one docking at the back of the vacuum, which is very pneumatic. And the latest 280mm pneumatic call it a Pro Flow combination tool, which is the floor nozzle that has a smaller wheel at the back that make the operation smoother and easier. It has a cleaning range of 31.4 meter, extra useful when you're in use. It means if the plug point is here, I can go to my right for 15.7 meter and my left for 15.7 meter or without having plug or unplug. And speaking about plug, it comes standard with UK or Malaysia 3 pin plug point and this is different from region to region. And because of the larger wheels of the back of this vacuum, it has no sign of tipping over and of course it's more steady due to the height of this vacuum. And the bumper, we can just knock on anything without worry. And the feature I like the most is the cable rewind function and the onboard storage at the back of the vacuum. Because if I compare that to PSP 240, every time when I want to roll back the wire or I finish the vacuuming, it's just a hassle to rewind the wire back manually. And the onboard tool storage at the back of the vacuum just make it so seamless when transition from floor to sofa and from sofa to other place or tight area I want to vacuum. And the handle is recess flat make it easier to store when not in use and make it look neat when in use. 
And of course, like all pneumatic, it's a bag vacuum. The same bag that used in a Henry PSP240 or Hetty. Yes, the bag itself is also a HEPA bag. It does come with two bags inside the box. And did I mention about the power indicator on the vacuum? It tells you you're already connected to the power point. This PPR 170 also comes standard with the signature 620 watts low wattage high suction motor. Among all the 620 watts pneumatic vacuum cleaners, which is very silent to begin with, this PPR 170 HEPA is the most silent among all. Now, how silent is silent compared to their old NVQ silent range, which is running on 1200 watts motor? VQ means very quiet. This PPR 170 HEPA is still a hair quieter than the NVQ, very quiet, silent range vacuum. It may look nothing much on the screen, but in person, we can tell the significant differences among all the vacuum noise. Manufacturer claim this vacuum has 2003 H2O, but based on our actual test, it has 2000 to 2001 H2O, mainly due to the H13 HEPA filter that restricted some of the airflow of the vacuum cleaner. And although it has the suction drop from the reading, you won't feel the differences in person. It still has that too much suction problem that I mentioned in the previous video where I talked about the PSP240 review. I'll link it up here if you miss out that video. And the too much suction problem can be easily solved by using the volume control from the band tube. And we still have the identical signature elephant taper conical hose that we found in all pneumatic vacuum cleaner. There is no overheating or power cut in this model. I use this vacuum to clean four aircon blower for continuously six hours. The only time I stop the vacuum is to move from one location to another location. The manufacturer claimed this unit can run for 16 hours non-stop, which is 1,600 hours non-stop. Pretty much that is without any load, but again, 1,600 hours non-stop. I don't see anyone come close to this claim. And the seal is good, there's no leaking in between the vacuum. And I do have to stress that this is the post moto HEPA filtration vacuum, which means the filter is being placed after the motor unit. So which means the residue from the carbon brush is being trapped by the H13 HEPA filter before the air exit out from the vacuum. This vacuum gives me the best cleaning experience because of the size. I cannot imagine if I need to take out a big vacuum every time I need to vacuum. I mean, just like life, if the friction is less, it's easier for us to complete a certain task. So this vacuum definitely give me less friction because less things to worry about before and after vacuum. Changing the bag is easy, just like all other pneumatic vacuum. The HEPA flow bag has three layers. It is able to retain the dust while vacuuming and emptying. The tri tax filter, which is not washable, you can shake clean, you can trap fine dust with three layers of membrane. And of course, the certified HEPA 13 filtration that down to 0.3 microns at 99.97 efficiency. That is a lot of layers there. The vacuum sound way more quiet while using or during load. And the tools, just like any other models, is reachable whenever I need them. I can't tell if the HEPA filter resulted in less dust, but one thing I know for sure is the smell. Compared to PPR240, which I change the bag once a month, and I can smell the dust smell towards end of the month every time I turn that on. And for this PPR170 HEPA, I stretch it and change the bag two months once and I can't smell anything every time I turn that on. But I still recommend to change the bag once every month because if you drag it for too long, you will notice the HEPA filter trap more dust, which is a good thing. I mean, imagine if the HEPA filter stay clean all the time, that kind of like defeat the purpose of HEPA filtration because it doesn't trap anything. And I can really feel the difference while operating a PPR240 and the PPR170 HEPA. It is way more quiet, it's easier to use. And the cable rewind function with storage is definitely worth the extra money. 
I think this is one of the best canister vacuum in the market right now. If you already have a vacuum or a pneumatic vacuum that is not broken, that nothing urge you to upgrade right away, which I think is not a failure. I mean, it would be weird to replace a vacuum every year or every one to five years because this PPR 170 HEPA is a vacuum and you should replace if your vacuum is broken or not meeting your needs anymore not before that point. However, if it is time for you to get a new vacuum, this PPR 170 HEPA would be worth the upgrade because it is great. But if your vacuum is Henry or pneumatic that is broken but still meets your needs, don't replace them, get them fixed. Because there's a reason why over 1 million of pneumatic vacuum cleaners still in use. All right, I'm just going to wrap this conversation up with one last thought. If this thing can be future proof if you buy the higher spec it should future proof us for the next two or three years for five years to come right now if a phone can future proof why can't a vacuum cleaner be future proof i mean at the time we are recording the 620 watts vacuum motor i can't find any vacuum cleaner that is on par with this 630 with that kind of suction you see pneumatic didn't update the product they updated the whole package the same motto you will find in last year model or other pneumatic vacuum lineup and it's a proper update given the current COVID situation better filtration visible cable noticeable quieter smaller size and still can handle commercial environment which means they are asking us to clean more and all that changes the way we use the vacuum now with that quiet range better filtration and the visible yellow line means I can use the vacuum whenever I want whether with my kids around or people still working in the office. That's my thought on pneumatic PPR 170 HEPA. I'm gonna keep using this vacuum because like everyone else, my storeroom is getting smaller. All right, that's been it. If you miss out the previous video where we talked about PSP 240, I'll link it up here. I will put the link down below the like button if you're interested in picking one up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this or the like button if you're not ready to subscribe. It's free. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.